worth your while. I have to watch every couple of years. I love this film for many reasons. Every frame really is a piece of art. But it's really storytelling done so well. <laughs> it's just a great movie. And essential. Laura, 1944. This is like a perfect murder mystery to me. I'm always happy to see Judith Anderson on screen. The black and white cinematography in this film by Joseph Lachelle is second to none. I love the story behind this film. When a dame gets killed, she doesn't worry about how she looks. Will you stop calling her a dame? Look around. Is this the home of a dame? Look at her. Not bad. I have to say, this film, Laura, would be in my top ten favorite movies of all time. I fell madly in love with Jean Tierney when I saw it. She absolutely mesmerized me, and to this day, I would have to say, if people ask me who my favorite actress is, she's kind of near the top of my list. But the reason I love this film, besides its intriguing story to me by Vera Caspery, is the fact that it's one of those great movie accidents. It was supposed to star Jennifer Jones yep. with John Hodiak and maybe George Sanders or Larry Craigar. And then it, uh, Jennifer Jones didn't do it. And then Hedy Lamarr was offered the part yep. and she didn't want to do it. But it all got changed and when it was put together, it became like this perfect movie to me. The music score is so mesmerizing. The song by David Raxson. There's just so much I like about it. I think it's an intriguing movie. I love the, the plotting device. It has one of the great opening lines of all time. And uh, I'm just a sucker for this film, no matter how many times I've seen it. I like the story behind the scenes of this film, that it was supposed to be this sort of B-movie, um, and it was a different director, and Otto Preminger was a producer on it, and really just had a constant vision for it and was pushing, pushing, pushing in every way that he could to get the right film made and eventually you know, Zanuck finally passed it off to him and how Zanuck would keep stepping in even, you know, to the effect of changing the whole end of the movie and then it didn't work in the testing and they right. went back to Otto Preminger's but original But that's what I ending. so love about film is that you can have this kind of jumbled mix-up where yeah. nobody knows what they're doing. Ruben Mamoulian, as you say, started was to direct replaced. it. And he was a great director, but they replaced him. His wife is the one who actually did the painting, and then that all got changed. Because the painting of Laura is actually a photograph with right. oil put on it. Right. I just think it's so great about film that you can have so many things go wrong yep. and so many other visions for it, and it, when it works, it works so well. I really think that, for me, what, what excites me about this film is that Otto Preminger fought for all of these things. You know, the casting, Clifton Webb, Zanuck apparently wasn't wasn't for the Clifton Webb choice, who's also with Gene Tierney in The Razor's Edge, yes. which we did year one. Yeah. And it was nice to see them paired up together as well. And also, he was not a movie star. He was a stage actor. Yep. And this started a whole career for and him. And apparently, he took Zanuck to his plays and kept trying to convince, convince, convince. And the cinematographer that he replaced with won the Academy Award. The ending that he wanted tested better, you know, with audiences. So when you see a filmmaker really get to sort of win battles on their vision and then have it come out and go from this B movie you know, that wasn't taken very seriously at the studio to becoming this much more polished, popular success. Right. Those are the things that intrigue me yeah. about those stories, and I, I do love that about this film. Yes. Well, let's see the film. Here's a movie with one of the great opening lines of any mystery film. I shall never forget the weekend Laura died. Who wouldn't want to stick around and watch that movie? Here it is from 1944, Laura.